Alright. Players. Four different playable characters. We're gonna go with you, because you're our kind of our standard Contra character. Security system's been breached by an unknown hacker. An unmanned robot is running rampant throughout the city. I want you to proceed to the area ASAP and restore order. How hard could it be? Alright, we're off. Every character, I believe, does have their own arsenal of weapons, so it's not just different skins. Each character does play differently, but this plays... This guy, I believe, plays the most like a standard Contra character. Also, unlike other Contra games, you can just pick up every weapon you want. Instead of having the, uh, the whole problem of picking up a weapon you didn't want and now you're stuck with that weapon. Weapons that you pick up just get added to your arsenal. Also, bomb. Also, change between free and fixed shot. The shot one, the shot two up there in the top left. That determines whether in free shot, shot one, or fixed shot, shot two. And actually, what, so, let me explain controllers for a bit. So, pressing the A button, whether you're paused or not, cycles between your weapons. Pressing the A button while you're firing, switches between your shot types. And it's a bit hard to get used to, but you do get used to it. Maybe I'll stick to shot two for a little bit. That's a big guy. Also flashing warning. Oh yeah, you also have a slide. And the slide is really good because it comes with free iframes. So you're probably going to see me making heavy use of that slide. Get some more weaponry. We got some bombs. And we got our classic spread gun as well. And now we spin! I think our bomb weapon would be the, the best DPS, so probably going to be what we want to stick with, given the option. That's not the unmanned robot. Somebody's inside that thing. Let's stick to fix shot for a bit. I think it's going to be helpful for trying to clock damage on this, n on this nerd. Uh oh. Also, be careful not to get hit me. Watch your sliding around. Make sure to duck to avoid incoming damage. There we go. That should just be the first stage done. What or who are you? <laughs> you can call me Deadeye Joe. If you want to know more than that, then come and get me. Research center is under attack by an unknown group. Please come and help. Damn, what should I do? Our first branching path. Do we go after Deadeye Joe? Or do we rescue the research center? Now, if we want to play all the way to the end of the game, I think we got to go after the research center. All right, stage two. Damn, at this speed, we'll never get there on time. Hey bro, looks like you're having some trouble. Grab onto my machine and I'll take you where you wanna go. Ear police, you guys sure have good timing. Look out, one of the bad guys is coming up from behind. Well, that won't do now, will it? out the goons, which just end up being roadkill and do damage to our big tank friend here.
the main objective and all that. Now to the sky! Switch over to homing for the moment. Oh, goodbye! On top of the helicopter instead of hanging out below it. Another one down. Let's see how quickly we can take this nerd down. Uh, answer is very. Rats, we took one. We're going down. It'll be a rough landing. Not too rough for us. Some weapons. We good if I didn't already... Was not already equipped to the teeth, basically. Are you okay? I'm fine, but you must stop them. They're after the alien cell. Alien cell? We got it from the mother alien in the alien wars five years ago. It's very dangerous, so we were keeping a close eye on it. The rampaging robot was just a clever diversion. But we gotta fight our way through more goons. More goons moving very fast towards us, too. We gotta be on top of our game to not die. Still kill a few on the way, because we do get some extra lives from points from time to time, and any extra lives I can get in a Contra game are gonna be welcome additions. Oh no, I'm too late! Double oh no, we're locked in! Gonna beat down this guy as fast as we can. Bombs oh, seem to do the, uh, the job pretty nicely. Though you do summon some friends from time to time. Oh god! That was close for comfort. And can I get you on this cycle? Sure can. Stage two then. Still haven't taken a death. Had a few close calls though. We're working good so far. Three days later. I identified the hacker who breached our security. His name is Neumann Cascade. He's the best hacker on the net. He used the panic caused by the robot as a diversion so he could steal the mother alien cell from the research center. Very likely there is an organization working behind him. His hideout is under a garbage dump. Don't screw this one up. Oh, under a garbage dump does seem like a good place to hide. No one would suspect a thing. First, we got some motorcyclists as the opening act. Oh, jeez. Ours just armed with guns. Exactly what you want to see. The bomb. Homing's gonna be good for you because I can't get a clean shot at you without jumping. Spin that tail around. Excuse the fuck out of you. I disagree with that, but okay. At least we still got you down. I need to get a homing weapon back now. Take out these turrets. 
as they spawn in. I don't want them to cause more trouble than they're worth. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what would be great to have now? Homing. Well, my, uh... My machine gun has been degraded. Which is very unfortunate. Hopefully we can get that upgraded again. You're that creep Neumann Cascade. Hehehe. <laughs> Why don't you try this on for size? Where in the heck am I? Welcome to the virtual zone. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thanks, I won't. Hi, bullfriend. Oh, God. All right, we got you down. And we got our lasers back, too. I would just need our homing back. Bye bye. I don't want to deal with you. I know how much of a pain in the ass you can be. Fight well, fool. Let's see if you can handle this. Let's see if you can handle squares. Switch over to laser. Oh. Right, I'm still I was still in shot two mode. Because I wanted to be in shot one mode. That's unfortunate, but not the end of the world. I would prefer homing for this, but spread gun works well enough for my purposes. Goodbye. Is that it? Looks like it's game over for you. Don't hurt me, I'm just trying to make a buck. It's not personal. You can save your sob story for the people at headquarters. Oyman told us who's in charge. Colonel Bahamut. I believe you've heard of him. He was a hero who fought during the Alien Wars, but two years ago, he planned a coup d'etat to overthrow the government. The coup d'etat was, was stopped in time, but the colonel fled. Until now, we had heard nothing of him. He's a dangerous man. I wonder what he's planning to do with that alien cell. His hideout is deep in the jungle. Good hunting. Switch over to... Spread gun, damn it. Didn't switch over in time. Yeah, spread gun against this mob of enemies would have been great to have, but... It was not meant to be, because you don't really get much time to do anything before you start getting assaulted. Speaking of places where homing is useful... Right here. Let's go back to this weapon. Seems to be a pretty good go-to for bosses. Die in the waterfall. Very angry guy in waterfall. Very dead guy in waterfall. All right, moving on. Homing continuing to be surprisingly good. Most of the time, and by most of the time I mean in Contra 3, homing isn't really that great of a weapon. But I guess here when you have it available to you potentially at all times, 
becomes a lot more viable as a weapon. Especially for cleaning up trash mobs. Oh. Yeah, I, I figured I would have wanted to stay away from that whole mess. Just gotta duck down. Well, if you want to keep going back and forth, I'm not gonna say no to that. And now your friend's here! And now we launch more bombs into you. It's a good point if you ask me. Oh, let's put fixed shot on. Good for aiming. Now to space you go. The space no longer, you're dead. All right, moving along. Boy, the raining hellfire that you're trying to give me. Yep, I'm fully armed again, which is nice. Got all my weaponry back. Boss. So, we meet again. It's Deadeye Joe. This place will be your graveyard. Sure it will, buddy. Well, we can't do much damage to you right now. Oh, now we can. Light it up! Oh, and an extra life as well. Been balancing those extra lives pretty well so far. I've been taking some deaths here and there, sure, but we're sitting on... We're basically sitting at uh, a net neutral. The amount of lives we would have if we... If we use the continue, so... And we haven't used the continue yet either, so doing pretty good there. This just reminds me of, like, a Contra 3 boss. Like, I'm thinking, like, Stage 3. Feels like a boss I'd see in a place like that stage. It would be cool if I could damage this thing. Wouldn't it be? It looks like we're back to being able to damage you. I like this laser very little. Shit. Really wanted to keep that weapon for a bit longer. But alas. Hopefully we can get it back soon enough. And then climb. This is a big ass path we're following, pretty much. I like this. I don't even need to move forward. I'll, I'll just scroll along with the camera, which is very convenient. Ah, 
All right, let's get that homing. Andy. Oh, come on, really? That's rude. Oh, what? I must have taken damage. Oh, I wouldn't have taken damage. Whatever. Those are deaths that I really shouldn't have taken. How far back? Alright. After the, uh... Two guys together, that mid-boss. That sucks. And I lose all my weapons, too, so I gotta build up that arsenal again. I also get a decent number of continues for this, but... Would have liked to not spend them in the first place. Alright, we're just gonna have to make do. Meet again, it's Dead Eye Joe, place for your graveyard. Yep, we've heard the whole spiel once before. Really does sink in just how long this whole section is, and. Might as well switch on to this weapon since I can't do any damage to you right now. So I might as well be hovered on a weapon that, in the event I die, I don't lose anything out of it. I think we got a decent enough handle on this section anyway, but... Better safe than sorry. Especially since both the weapons I have would really suck to lose. Good, good, good. As I recall, the next time we can do damage to you is when that laser that bounces around is attacking us, and that fight sucks. fight so much, dude. It sucks. Oh my god, and we're, we have no spare weapon. We at least got you down, but we have no lives, no other weapons. This attempt is just going swimmingly. Oh, and that's gonna make these missiles really suck. Eh, maybe we'll be okay. Alright, I guess we're hanging out over here now. And yeah, it should be fine as long as I just watch myself and where I'm going. Yeah, this works fine enough. I know lightning's gonna be coming, so... This is a boss that we can hypothetically just completely... Uh, uh, relatively easily, in fact, avoid taking damage to. I just need to not be bad. Which is a, uh... Sometimes a tall order. Like that. I think I bounced the boss all the way back towards me, so the lightning got me. Oh boy. We're starting to fall apart. It's going great. And dying this much to a boss that by all rights I should not be dying to. 
Makes it hurt all the worse. Alright. Let's try this again. Wish we didn't have to go through this dialogue every time. We meet again, it's Dead Eye Joe, who would have guessed. We need to start bringing our A game, though. That form's at least been pretty consistent so far. We took a lot of deaths in the in the second phase of this, so I really need to. It's such a hard form though to avoid negating deaths to because sometimes, like hypothetically, you could predict where that laser is going, but being able to do something like that on the fly, you just got to kind of react and depending on where it is, it's tough luck. I do what I can, but... Wow, you were very not aggressive that time. Well, who am I to complain? Please disappear, laser. Okay. That's much better. Why was that so hard the first time? And now we have our trusty spreader for this. Not that we died to the missiles last time, but... Boy, does the spread gun just make it so much easier on me. And now we go up. Hey, you know what would be nice? If we could get through this, uh, this fight deathless this time. Make up for all the hardships from before. Windows, stop notifying me of things. I don't think it even went through on stream anyway. Okay. And take the time to just dodge the lightning. We can just do this for a while. Yeah. Now we've got something of a method going. And we can just hang out here for a while. Consistently load some bullets into you. Much better. Let's see, how hard was that? Very apparently because I spent two continues on it. This is the end for you. Damn, a trap. Just as we planned, Colonel. Doctor, what's going on? Just as you can see, the Doctor has been assisting us. I'm sick and tired of this weakling government. Having obtained something as magnificent as the alien cell, they squander the opportunity by locking it away in a vault. The Colonel feels as I do, and will help me achieve my plans. Now I can carry on my own dark experiments. Why, oh, you treacherous little... Well, Doctor, I will leave the rest up to you. There is no way to escape. You must surrender peacefully. Our next branching path. Fight to the end or surrender and fight later. We fight to the end. You poor fool! Now you will be prey for my experiments. 
We'll see about that. Now we get to see, uh, some of these creations of the docks. Basically just meshing two enemies together into a bunch of mini-bosses, basically. Up next... This thing. It's dead. There's one in particular. Is it this one? Yep, this one. One you don't want to kill because it just shoots out a bunch of power-ups. That one's nice and easy. Cr the crusher weapon is just tearing through some of these and it's great. Machine seems to be malfunctioning. Goodbye, Doc. Let's see how easily we can get through this. Too bad of a pattern. Just gotta be uh, a bit careful from from time to time. Yeah, easy. That stage was a lot, both a lot quicker and a lot easier than the last one. Never imagined that the doctor was working for the enemy, but because of that, we now know where their HQ is. We will take an overseas route to strike at them. This time, we'll take them out with extreme prejudice. All right. Welcome to the sea. Ah, damn it. Wasn't really in a good spot. Oh. Forgot I had a bomb. Oh my god. I am not doing great, aren't I? Well, at least I avoided that this time. Holy moly. That was not good. Alright, now what? The guy down here. Please don't fall off the boat, me. We got a, we got our raft ride. This is my a reminder to myself to make use of the slide as needed. Very good for eye framing through things. A lot more than I give it credit for. And that's why I didn't, uh, slide. God damn it, me. Alright. Spend an area, continue. At least we made some progress since the last continue we had to spend. Oh, but we have to go all the way back to the start. Ugh. Well, most of my deaths were because I was an idiot in this fight in particular. So, let's try to, uh... Let's try to do this fight a bit better. Give me a safe spot to stand. Alright. Fight number two.
this guy. Tries to reach. That thing tries to uh, reach out and grab me, and that's about it. And didn't even get the chance this time. All right, now the the third one, where we died last time, or rather where we game over last time. Jump. I know most of what you do, for what that's worth. It's just putting it all together. That becomes the, uh, the issue. The game blindsided by something that I should have slid under. They're like, no, I can make that without sliding. What a fool I can be. Alright, you're down now, no problems. Oh, hell yeah, it's a shape-shifting motorcycle. And now they merge together! To do who knows what. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, spread gun's good for this. You know what? Good. Uh oh. Uh oh. How's it going, Techie? Welcome to Hardcore. I think this is. Yeah, you try to do. Oh, God. That. Oh, shit. Not handstand mode again. I think we got this on lock now. Unless you pull something more. Okay. Going backwards with the handstands. Oh god, there's gonna be one for each of them, isn't there? Alright, that... That's a bird. Close to you? Yeah. Shotgun our way through it. Uh. Oh! Eggs. Shitting out eggs. Why did I expect anything different? Switch to the basic machine gun. Oh. I think we're on to the... What would hypothetically be the last form? What the heck are we dealing with here? Uh, well... Aha! Uh -huh. Like, while we try to figure it out, why don't we see if we can sit, hang on to that, uh, that spread gun. Stand here. Stand there. Uh, what? Oh. Oh, but you move both directions. Okay. Is that it? It's all exploding. It's all flashing. What a drag. <laughs> uh, stage cleared. Busting into HQ. Don't mind me, that's a bomb. I want that bomb. Having a bomb on hand is always welcome. Actually, the laser might be better for me right now. Yeah, now we try to homing it. Oh, that homing sucks on it sometimes, though. Here I was hoping the homing might be able to be useful. Okay, it's, it, it's being kind of useful now.
Oh no, many mans! Laser the hell out of him! Now what do our mans do? Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I'm gonna hang out over here. That worked out surprisingly well. A little close for comfort, but worked out really well. Alright. I guess we gotta attack the leader. Oh. You don't seem to turn around, though. Which is good. Makes it a bit pre predictable. Yeah. I didn't think you'd make it. You have ruined my plans. But a warrior as strong and brave as you are deserving of praise. I've been looking for a soldier such as you for a long time. Join with me. The world is waiting for people such as you and I to lead them. The last of the branching path endings. I mean, we come this far, refuse at this point. You stubborn buffoon, prepare to die. Fight with the colonel himself. Let's see what you can pull. God, the the iframes from the slide are so good. Ah, damn it. I've been got. I've been had. I've been bamboozled. Uh, regular machine gun. Oh, I dashed right into that. Fuck it, bomb. Make sure I don't game over again. Ugh, you've beaten me. But this will be no victory for you. When I die, a missile armed with the alien cell will take off. You will see the world burn in the flames of hell. Ugh. Not if we can stop it. In the most Contra-esque manner possible. Riding a missile up to it. This is the final battle. The Colonel is already dead. Stop this foolishness. I could care less about the Colonel. I'm going all the way. Your loss. How much you're flying around homing is going to be good for you. Yeah. Probably, uh, get to safety. Whatever is defined as safety in the situation we have somehow found ourselves in. Right, now to claw our way up. I would like an A. Damn it. Okay. I think we can make do without it. Uh, an A. Without our lasers, but would have definitely been helpful. All right, there's the there's the boss, but we do have to deal with goons in two different directions coming at us. It's just kind of a matter of crowd control. Okay, up next. This thing. Why oh, is that crusher? Always gotta be something more. Oh, that's gross looking.
Alright, deal with the hands. Doesn't seem like it can do damage to the main body. And seem to be the only thing I can attack in any of this. Ah, damn it. Looked away for half a second, and suddenly, boss is doing something different. That's fine, we still got continues. And we made it decently far in the stage. That's definitely final boss looking. Okay, all the way back here. That's fine. A heart, how Contra like. I don't know what you're talking about. That's the most uncontra thing I've ever heard of, except for that time where we destroyed a heart in Contra. This is the final battle. Colonel's already dead. Blah 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 blah. Uh, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Oops. Oh. I really undervalued the, uh, the usefulness of, uh, fucking, what do you call it, the, the homing in that fight. Spent two lives! Just trying to get that through that opening fight. Alright, I've got an A weapon. I need a C weapon, though. Yeah. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get a D weapon, but that's fine. I've got the... I've got the tools I, I need for this. Or the tools I would want for this. I should... Elaborate. Now just do some decent crowd control. Alright, what what did I, what weapon did I want for this? I think it was just the, the crusher, nice and simply. Good DPS. Will never cease to disappoint me. And then this guy is back. So this time I gotta watch out for when you try to change tactics on me. Andela dies, Drew. So you use the hands for a bit. But maybe I should just move away once the hand stops spawning. Which would be right now. Yeah. Good call me. I think I got a method down now. You swing back and forth, which is something I need to be careful of. But otherwise, this seems to be basically all you do. As long as I'm not too close to the edge, this should be a pretty free fight. Yeah. I believe that's a GG for Contra Hardcore. Struggle a bit in like stage four, but otherwise, had a good time here. Hey, brother, sorry to keep you waiting. Thanks for the hand. Good job, you're in for a hero's welcome. As the whole thing explodes, Contra Hardcore, beaten. The hero's welcome. Riding into the sunset on the top of a, of a, uh, I was gonna say a helicopter, not really a helicopter. Seats inside the, the plane, who needs seats?
I, I like the the role help man. A jet single person, yeah. Anyway, Contra Hardcore. Um, fun game. I maybe it's at some point I want to go back and play and do the other endings, but definitely would recommend. Real, real good Contra game. So I'm glad to have finally gone through it, quote unquote, in its entirety. Maybe next time I'll play as the Wolf. Much like with uh, Castlevania Bloodlines that I played earlier today. Um, one that I'm going to probably ha try to convince a few people to play who like Contra games, but may not have played uh, Hardcore specifically. Because life as a Nintendo kid, I guess. See you next mission! Good job! It is definitely ambitious for them to try the idea of having multiple endings. Especially as many as this game has. For basically just being a, a Contra game on Genesis. Alright, and now... Contra Hardcore can take a nice long rest on my shelf.